Good morning, friends. Today we're gonna start with a warm up activity. You're gonna need a little space for this activity. So find an area in your living room or your bedroom where you have a little bit of room to move. The first thing I need you to do is stand and run in place. Ready, set, go. Run, 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 run in place, and stop. The next thing I need you to do is to sing a line of your favorite song. And stop. All right, next idea. I need you to walk one lap around your room. And go. And when you're finished walking your lap, I need you to come back to your seat and sit down. Now I need to, for you to pretend to talk to the person next to you. How's it going? Are you having a good day? Did you have a good breakfast? All right, so that was our warm up activity. Can you name all of the actions you did in the last few minutes? Let's see if we can come up with a list. Let's think about the first thing I asked you to do. Do you remember what it was? Stand. First, I asked you to stand. Then I asked you to run. Then I asked you to sing. Next was to walk. Then I asked you to sit. And the last thing was to talk. Now, what do all of these words have in common? Stand run, sing, walk, sit, talk? Are they rhyming words? No. Do they all start with the same letter? No. They're all verbs. All of the words we listed are verbs. Do you know what a verb is? Today, we're gonna find out. So let's look here. Introduction to verbs. So here are some more verbs. Swim, paint, hang, pull, throw, jump. You've probably done some of these, if not all of them. Each of these is an action verb. It tells what you are doing. Verbs are action words. They tell what the subject is doing. James runs down the street. Notice that underlined word is a verb. It tells what James is doing. He runs. They tell what the subject will be doing. Agatha will be eating ice cream. 
They tell what the subject has done. Jasmine texted her friend a message. There are words called helping verbs used with action verbs. They help to tell about a past action. Thomas was standing in the rain. So he's not currently in the rain. This is like he happened earlier in the day or yesterday. They help to tell what a present action or about a present action. Mary is talking to her friend. So that's something that's happening right now. They help to tell about a future action. Mom will be cooking dinner later. So that's not now, it hasn't happened yet, it will be happening. Verbs can be used to describe actions and a state of being. They can tell about a physical action. So those are the things we started our lesson off with. Brad and Jacob skipped and hopped all day. They tell about mental actions, so things we don't actually see. The teacher is thinking about giving homework. So you can't see that she's thinking, but it's still an action. Tell about a state of being, what you are. I am tired. It is tall. I was home. A helping verb is used for a state of being. We're not gonna spend so much time on those, but just so you know. Here's some more helping verbs in case you are curious. Am, is, does, do. These are a lot like our sight words. Hmm. So let's look at an example. Our dog is being good today. He must have had a good nap. We are happy. Our dog's name is Rocky. Dad said we should call him Sleepy. He can sleep all day sometimes. It has been great having Rocky as a pet. We do love him very much. So let's look at some more of our action verbs. Let's look at the pictures. Can you name any of the action verbs? What are the children doing? Reading drawing or writing. It looks like he's gluing, painting. In summary, a verb is an action word. It can tell you what a subject is doing, has done, or will do in the future. The more practice you do with verbs, the easier it will be for you to use them correctly. What is your favorite action? What is the verb? Think about it. So now let's practice. So let's look at some of our pictures. Can we name an action word to describe some of the things that we see in the pictures? This one, it looks like there's a horse and there's a person. What happened? The person fell. What about this child here? Do you see what they're on? It looks like they're outside in the snow. They're sledding. And what about the dogs? What are they doing? Hmm, they might be running. And what if we were talking about the dogs and what they did earlier? We could say the dogs ran.
So there's lots of different words we can use to describe our actions. Now, let's practice some of the words we've used earlier. Let's talk about how we can say they are in the past, the present, or the future. So let's look back at our words. So our first word was stand. Now for stand, if I wanna say I did it yesterday or this morning, I'm gonna change it to stood. Now this one's a little tricky because you have to change the vowels. And some of the letters. Now what if I wanna say I wanna do this in the future? I'm gonna add the word will. Will stand. Let's look at run. Run could be ran. Or I will run. And sing could be sang. or will sing. Now walk. We don't have walk or walky. How can we say I went on a walk? You'd have to add a helping word to that one. So we could say I walked or I went on a walk. I walked, I can add an ED to say I did it yesterday. So you're gonna see a lot of the ED in our lesson today, walked. Or I will walk. Sit becomes sat. Or, I will sit. And the last one is talk, and talk is like walk. We're gonna add an ED to say, I talked to my mom. Or, I will talk to her. So in today's lesson, you're gonna see some ED. You're also gonna see some ING words. So sometimes if we're talking about what's going on now, like I am standing in line, I'm gonna add an ING to my word. Or I'm gonna add another N to double it and add ING, running. I am running fast. Sing becomes singing or walking or sitting or talking. I hope you enjoyed the lesson and learned a lot about verbs.